When I was reading Michael Phelps' biography, one thing became evident to me. He has insane work ethic. And that is what made him the greatest swimmer and the greatest Olympian to have ever lived. And some argue the greatest athlete to have ever lived. Over a period of five years, he only took a total of three days off from his insane swimming practice. That's right, just three days off over a period of five years. Now, most sports experts at the time believed that if you practice that much without any rest days, your body would not be able to grow. You would actually slow down as a swimmer. But Michael Phelps was insane. His swimming practice is the stuff legends are made of. So what was Phelps' secret to his insane work ethic? Well, he used the power of his opponents and his doubters. He used any words or actions against him by his opponents as fodder to drive his hunger, to burn with desire to beat them, to burn with desire to prove them wrong. One of the swimmers he looked up to a lot, Ian Thorpe, said, I don't think Phelps can win eight goals in the 2008 Olympics. And that really motivated Michael Phelps. So he taped this quote by Ian Thorpe in his locker room. And he would remind himself of it every single day. Now we all know that he won eight goals in the 2008 Beijing Olympics. A magazine article once called his competitor Ian Crocker, Superfly, and someone who would beat Michael Phelps. Phelps cut that article out and taped it on his bedroom ceiling. And he said, I used to wake up thinking about Crocker. I used to go to bed thinking about Crocker. I was so desperate to beat him. I would do whatever it takes to beat him. And that was one of the keys to his insane work ethic. Every lab he took, he would think about all those who doubted him, all those who hated him, all those who thought he could not succeed. He channeled his anger and his competitive spirit to develop and fuel his insane work ethic.